Hello, so nice that you are back here. Are you ready for another bedtime story? Oh, good. Are you tucked in and ready for sleep? Perfect. So, what story would you like to hear tonight? Maybe one about a special friendship. Okay. As the little mouse tumbled through the air, he couldn't believe his misfortune. Just moments before, he had been leisurely munching on a juicy acorn in the comfort of his favorite tree. Now, he was plummeting towards the ground, destined for a garbage truck that was making its rounds through the neighborhood. As he crashed into the truck with a thud, he couldn't help but groan in despair. This was not how he had imagined his day going. But as he picked himself up and dusted off his tiny paws, he saw something that made his heart skip a beat. There in the corner of the truck was a handsome rat with piercing green eyes and a charming grin. His name was Randy and he was unlike any rodent the little mouse had ever met. Hey there, little guy, Randy said with a wink. Looks like you could use a helping hand. The little mouse's heart fluttered as he took in Randy's kind words and debonair demeanor. Could it be that this rough and tumble garbage truck was the setting for a friendship destined to go down in rodent history? Only time would tell, but the little mouse knew one thing for sure. He was grateful to have fallen into the arms of this dashing rat friend, Randy. As the garbage truck rumbled down the road, the little mouse and Randy quickly became close companions. Randy showed the mouse how to scavenge for food in the garbage truck, and the mouse taught Randy how to climb trees and navigate through the grass. They shared stories about their lives, and Randy was always there to lend a listening ear when the little mouse needed it. But as the days passed, the little mouse began to worry. He knew that the garbage truck was only a temporary home and soon enough, they would have to part ways. He didn't want to lose his new friend, but he didn't know what to do. One day, as they were both perched atop a towering pile of trash, the mouse mustered up the courage to speak. Randy, I don't want to lose you, he said, his voice trembling. Is there any way we could stay together even after we leave this truck? Randy smiled and put a paw around the mouse's shoulder. Don't worry, little guy, he said. I've got a plan. And so it was that the little mouse and Randy hatched a daring scheme. They would work together to find a new home. One where they could continue to be friends and explore the world together. They spent their days scouring the city, looking for the perfect place to call their own. It was risky, but the two friends were determined to make it work. And so, as the sun began to set on the city, the little mouse and Randy stood side by side, looking over the skyline with hopeful eyes. They didn't know where they were going or what they would find when they got there. But one thing was for sure, as long as they had each other, they could face anything. Now, wasn't that a beautiful story? Who are your best friends? Maybe tonight when you fall asleep, you'll dream about the things you're going to do tomorrow with your friends. I wish you sweet dreams. Good night.